rubber flying fish, the yummy flyer. And when do I fish the yummy flyer? And when do I fish dead flying fish soaked on the surface under the balloon? So here's my, this is how I do it. If I have eight knots of wind or more, I like to drag the rubber flying fish. It gives me more area to fish and it gives me a better opportunity that when the fish bites, we have a better hook set ratio than dead boat, still boat fishing them on the dead flyer. I like to have the boat moving and I like to troll that rubber flying fish, the yummy flyer at about eight and a half knots. And then you can go back through all my videos on how to fish it and go through the kite video and everything. And then you can see, I like to drag it around at eight and a half knots. But there are many, many days where we're out there on the water and we have less than eight knots of wind and we're seeing a lot of bluefin. So what I'll do is I'll find an area where there's a lot of bluefin. I'll put out my dead flying fish. I probably will put out two dead flyers and drift them like catfish fishing or bobber fishing, if you will, in a lake. But I'll get in an area where I see a lot of fish. I see a lot of fish on the surface. I see a lot of fish on the fish finder on the up and down pedometer or a lot of fish on the sonar if you're lucky enough to have a sonar then I'll dead boat fish them I'll get those flying fish out in the water I won't drag them through the water though I will put them up in the air underneath the kite and the balloon and I'll drive the boat forward a little bit get a little bit of distance between me and the flying fish then I will slowly lower the flying fish into the water and then it allows it to just set on the surface and bounce up and down, but constantly making contact on the water. When I say bounce up and down, that's because it's moving up and down with the swell. But I'm going to constantly watch the dead flying fish with my binoculars. And I'm going to constantly watch it to make sure that it's always right on the surface. It's not underwater and it's not out of the water. It's just dapping on the surface bouncing up and down on the surface if you will with the waves never really not having contact with the water so I'm constantly doing that the flying fish is just barely touching the water and I see an explosion once I see the fish explode on the flying fish then I'm going to put the boat in gear and drive forward on it as the fish is taken off, I'm gonna make sure that the rod is bent and I'm gonna keep total pressure on it at all times to make sure that that hook gets set in the fish. I'm not gonna gun it. I'm going to just put the boat in gear. It's gonna be driving at about four knots, maybe five, not very fast, but enough to keep the pressure on to keep that hook driven into the fish. So there's two times that I like to use the dead flyer. When I'm seeing a lot of fish, and there's no wind and when I'm seeing a lot of fish in the area marking a lot of fish on the fish finder that's another time that I'll deploy the dead flying fish but I'm not just gonna put a dead flyer out in the middle of the ocean with no fish around and if there's a lot of wind I'm gonna be dragging the rubber flyer because you got a better chance of finding those schools while you're trolling around at eight and a half knots once I identify a school then I'm gonna mark it on my GPS and then I'm going to start working that area with my dead my rubber flying fish so hopefully this helps you guys to be a little more adept on how to identify when to use the dead ones and when to use the live ones